Who, uh, 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 Courtney Alberti. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm really glad my colleague talked about outsourcing and highly paid consultants, something that the NDP has been deeply concerned about dating back to the Harper government, Mr. Speaker, where outsourcing doubled under the Har Harper government. It's actually quadrupled under the Liberal government. But one thing that we've been trying to do as New Democrats is take a, a, a real look at companies like Deloitte, for example, Mr. Speaker, who is the highest amount of beneficiary of this highly paid external consulting. But get this, Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives at, who, who run the uh, Government Operations Committee, their chair, has, and, and their members have not allowed the, the, uh, the uh, OGO to study and take a close examination of Deloitte, Mr. Speaker, despite many requests by uh, the New Democrats. Now, Mr. Speaker, it's no surprise that the, the Liberals also don't want to look at it. But note this, Mr. Speaker, that former Cabinet Minister Pierre Pettigrew sits as a managing director of Deloitte. Uh, former Conservative Cabinet Minister Peter McKay sits as a managing director of Deloitte. So I guess it's no surprise to you, Mr. Speaker, why the Conservatives don't want to take a closer examination of Deloitte. They want to talk about McKinsey on their rabbit hole chase, but they don't want to look at Deloitte. So maybe my colleague will tell us, when are they going to actually open up the books on Deloitte and take a hard look at it? And why is Deloitte getting such obscene amounts of outsourcing contracting from Canadian taxpayers? The Honourable Member from Fort Saskatchewan, sorry, Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. Th thank you, Mr. Speaker. In, in broad strokes, the member's description of the OGO committee's agenda is just simply incorrect. I know he hasn't been a member of OGO for a very long time, but I understand he may be back, so I look forward to uh, giving him the opportunity to get reacquainted with the committee's agenda and uh, working with him again at that point. Uh, but, but look, uh, Mr. Speaker, here's what happened with respect to the studies around outsourcing for McKinsey, Deloitte, and other companies. That the committee ordered various documents related to the outsourcing to McKinsey. And we had wanted to pursue the government on those documents because documents were not provided that were ordered. But the NDP folded like a cheap suit and they would not work with us to demand that we get these documents. So, so get this from the NDP. On the one hand, they refused to actually follow up to get the documents. But on the other hand, they say, oh, well, let's shift over to another, to another, uh, another uh, company. Uh, what we would say is, no, let's, let's do the work. Let's look at every instance of outsourcing, uh, but let's actually get the documents we ask for. You, you can't say, well, actually, we don't need these documents and then jump to something else right when we're in the middle of pursuing uh, one, one particular issue. The NDP should stand with us in ordering the production of these documents. Then we can actually get the work done.